All right, so let's say you've been fascinated with the MiG-21 recently and you want to simulate its nice supersonic intake in ANSYS. So you pull up ANSYS, but the first thing you are met with is the space claim geometry space. Now, you may not like that. In fact, I don't. I prefer to use Fusion 360, and that's why you're here in this tutorial. Um, importing geometry from Fusion 360 is pretty straightforward if it's 3D, but a lot of times you actually want to simulate a 2D object because you can have you can get the same data that you want from a 2d simulation oftentimes instead of going for the full 3d it'll be faster um, but importing 2d geometry from fusion into ansys isn't as straightforward so i've gone ahead and modeled the thing that i want to simulate in fusion 360 this is just a sketch this is the mig 21 center spike this is just the outside of the fuselage the outside of the intake i've drawn this vertical line here to split my simulation space into three regions or five technically, the outer wall, the inner spike, outside, in front, and inside the intake a little bit, because you oftentimes you want to have simulation regions or meshing regions when you're going to do the mesh. I've gone ahead and drawn this in the top, from the top point of view, so my object's in the XY plane, I'm using meters, I'm in the patch workspace. Usually in your model, you want to switch the patch, and we use the patch tool to go ahead and create patches on all the regions I am interested in. So just go ahead and do that. All right, now you have a whole bunch of patches. Go ahead and save it. You can go ahead and go here, export, change F3D to step files, save it. Great, now go to Fusion, I mean, yeah, go to Ansys import your geometry, browse, look for that step file, all right? Then you don't even need to go into space cl claim it. You can go straight to the mesh environment, go ahead and go edit. Yes, I do want to update the upstream data. The mesh editor will boot up. And great, now we have our simulation region as one surface and we have all the lines available for us to, you know, go ahead and select edges and create boundary layers or like interior labels or selection names or whatever. And we can go ahead and do all of our meshing as desired within ANSYS. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.